started in the fashion industry um, just 1999-2000 I was freelancing for Elle magazine and a couple of other publications um, both in the UK and in Ireland and I moved over to London in 2002 and I was working in media but I was freelancing um, as a fashion journalist and so I continued that whilst I was there and I moved when I moved home that's when I set up my own blog and I decided to go full-time as a freelancer in fashion. One of my big career highs was um, being asked to write the Louis Vuitton City Guide to Dublin and I got that through my blog so it was um, a great um, opportunity for me to showcase my writing style. Currently I'm working on a book called The Happy Closet which I've been developing over the past two years and it's part of my own um, uh, decluttering business so it's about incorporating mindfulness and fashion together so that's one of the big projects and the kind of big career highs that I've had and that I'm working on at present. You have to carve out time, in particular I find with a book I'll, because things are quite fluid when you freelance, you know, your times get changed, things get moved around and I think you have to get very protective over your time with certain things in order to get the job done. Um, otherwise you'll be working very long hours, weekends, bank holidays and you'll never carve out any time for yourself. In a typical week, it could comprise of anything from shooting a piece for Frock Advisor, going to Cork to the Today Show uh, to present a fashion piece, writing for my book, um, writing my fashion column for Irish Tatler and also for the Irish Examiner, um, and doing a radio slot, and maybe with Ryan Tuberty or Dave Fanning. I think the best thing you can do is work with somebody, um, ask to be an assistant, assist on a shoot, by all means start your own blog, I think it's a great way um, to get a toe in and, and follow other blogs. If you're going to be a fashion writer, you should read. Three reasons, locally, uh, for the economy and also for individuality as well. You can get the best customer service, you'll get the best limited edition pieces. So if you are a fashionista and you love your fashion and your style and your quirky sensibility, then I think boutiques are for you.